Hi there, I'm Sophie Newman and I am a first year Masters of Public Health student. Um, currently I'm working with the College of Veterinarians of Ontario for a summer practicum in One Health and Communications. Before my master's program, I completed my undergrad at the University of Guelph in Biomedical Sciences. And I took about two years off in between uh, to work at the drop-in center in Toronto. Uh, we were mainly food justice focused, meaning that we worked on providing healthy and sustainable food to all members of the community, especially the underserved populations, uh, marginalized folks, folks who are street involved, um, and anyone really who uh, needed some food. So uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to completing my practicum and uh, finishing my master's. So the areas of animal health, human health, and environmental health, independently both in practice and research are very massive areas and there's not often, or there's not always a lot of natural integration between these areas. So the One Health approach kind of encourages that integration uh, to rely on the strengths of all health professionals within animal, human, and environmental health uh, to most effectively build on the knowledge that we have and promote the health of all species. My project with the College of Veterinarians of Ontario is looking at how best to communicate the concepts of One Health and public health with both veterinarians and with the public. So as many of us know, veterinarians are really important public health practitioners and One Health practitioners uh, because they're bridging the gap between the health of animals and the health of humans. Uh, and with the rise of so many zoonotic diseases in Canada and around the world, the role of veterinarians uh, in the One Health approach is really important. But the college found that many veterinarians don't actually identify as public health practitioners. Um, so we're trying to find the best communication strategies to kind of validate their identity as public health professionals um, and also communicate those concepts to the public. So my advice for people who are considering grad school um, is at least for me, you don't have to know exactly what you want to do with your life uh, to apply for grad school and to really get a lot out of grad school. So even though now I'm in uh, my master's in public health program and really enjoying it, um, I don't have a clear cut plan of what I'm going to do next. Nonetheless, um, it's giving me a lot of options. Uh, and it's it's the, what I really enjoy about my program in particular is that it's so inter interdisciplinary that there are so many directions I can take after this. Um, and just in general, there are so many programs out there that you may not have heard of and you may not know that that's right up your alley. So just investigate, talk to professors, reach out to peers, uh, and don't be afraid to ask questions. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.